Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Michael Brown's mother resurfaces and is on the warpath. This is one of my first steps. In loving memory of their bouncing baby boy, the so-called gentle giant Michael Brown, mother Leslie McSpadden and stepfather Louis had incited a riot in Ferguson, Missouri after a grand jury returned a not guilty verdict against officer Darren Wilson. That was November 2014. Head screamed, burn this mother effer down and burn this BTCH down. At least 14 people were injured and 12 buildings set on fire in the ensuing violence. Brown died after being shot by Wilson in August 2014 and the media narrative emerged of Brown being an innocent bystander with his hands up and gunned down in the street by a racist cop. From there, the phrase, hands up, don't shoot was born. It was based on a lie. From the Washington Post Ash. The unarmed 18-year-old also became a potent symbol of the lack of trust between African Americans and law enforcement, but the other DOJ report, the one on the actual SH ding of Michael Brown, shows him to be an inappropriate symbol. Wilson knew about the theft of the cigarillos from the convenience store and had a description of the suspects. Brown fought with the officer and tried to take his GN. And the popular hands-up storyline, which isn't corroborated by ballistic and DNA evidence and multiple witness statements, was perpetuated by Witness 101. In fact, just about everything said to the media by Witness 101, whom we all know as Dorian Johnson, the friend with Brown that day, was not supported by the evidence and other witness statements. In October 2014, Brown's mother, grandmother, and aunt engaged in what can only be termed as a street brawl over the rights to t-shirt sales. T-shirts bearing the phrase I am Mike Brown were sold at Brown's funeral. McSpadden and other members of Brown's family attempted to capitalize on his passing which ended in McSpadden assaulting and robbing Brown's grandmother Pearlie Gordon of $1,400. Adding further insult to injury. Brown's parents were then awarded $1.5 million in a wrongful DTH claim. Brown robbed a store, assaulted the store's owner, attacked a police officer, grabbed for the officer's GN, charged the officer, and was shot DD for his actions. How pray tell is that a wrongful DTH by any definition? Time and again, investigations found no credible evidence that Wilson's use of deadly force was objectively unreasonable. Yet, McSpadden and Head led months of protests and used Brown's DTH to launch the Black Lives Matter movement leading to more rioting and violence across the nation in the ensuing months and years to follow. Now McSpadden is launching a new venture, announcing her intentions to run for the city council in 2019. Post for maximum effect, McSpadden made the announcement on Canfield Drive right near the scene where her 18-year-old son was shot by police four years ago of her intentions to run. NBC Report Ash Almost four years ago to this day, I ran down this very street, and my son was covered in a sheet," McSpadden said, fighting back tears. I learned to walk again, and this is one of my first steps. McSpadden said she plans to focus on three issues, community policing, economic equality and access to health care for Ferguson's young children. She said she anticipated that some people might ask why she was qualified to seek elected office. In response, she said, if a mother had to watch her son lay on the street for four hours and watch our community be completely disrespected by the people we elected, what would you do? You would stand up and you would fight, too." She was joined on Friday by friends and family, as well as Benjamin Crump, the prominent civil rights attorney who represents the Brown family. He led chants of run, Leslie, run. Crump said McSpadden's political bid was a way to transform the pain to power. McSpadden is also calling on Missouri Governor Mike Parson to reopen the investigation into Brown's Kaling. More than 15,000 people have signed an online petition as of this writing. The announcement comes just three days after Bob McCulloch, the seven-term prosecuting attorney in St. Louis County who handled the Brown investigation, lost a primary challenge to a black Ferguson councilman. The Washington Post noted Wesley Bell, a black city council member, defeated St. Louis County prosecutor Robert McCulloch in a Democratic primary. McCulloch is white, had held the office since 1991 and was sharply criticized for the investigation that ended with a grand jury's decision not to charge Wilson. McSpadden claims that if she is elected to the city council she plans to focus on three things, notably, community policing, economic inequality and access to health care. She adds, I know a lot of people may ask what makes me qualified, but I'll tell you if a mother had to watch her son lay in the street for four and a half hours and watch a community be completely disrespected by elected officials that we elected, what would you do? You would stand up and fight, too.
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.